<laughs> so good evening and yay to our kiddos going back to school. I hope that you guys are going to learn a lot from this presentation that I have worked tirelessly, honestly, to bring to you guys. And I hope you're going to get a lot of just really good tips um, for your kids going back to school for all of the things from emotional support to some first aid stuff if they hurt themselves and um, there's a whole lot in here so let me go ahead and share my screen and then I am yeah we can we can jump right in here there we go okay so I think I'm sure you can see my screen right Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okie dokes, I believe we're in business. Okay, so <clears throat> um, let's hop right back into some getting our school year started and having oily kids. So rolling into the school year like back to school can be an exciting but hectic and stressful time for kids and parents. Oils can truly help to make the transition a little bit easier. So I'm gonna be covering about back to school and how oils can actually help to make things go smoothly for you and your children. So routine is essential. Getting back into a morning routine is a big key to kicking off the school year right, the excitement the night before the first day can sometimes cause less sleep and cranky kids. So even if you have already started school, please remember this one for any big day, or maybe it's coming back from a holiday, whatever it is, or even a Monday. Oftentimes we have, oftentimes we have like the Monday blues. So definitely try to diffuse lemon, peppermint or citrus fresh to help uplift and energize as well as helping with mental clarity so the kids are ready to focus at school so it's a great one to put in your diffuser first thing and then take a shot of ning charette as part of a morning ritual with the kids to help support healthy minds and overall health and wellness Okay, super important, safety, right? Safety first with all things. This is something I tell my kids all the time in all things. You guys can have fun. I want you to enjoy yourselves, but safety first, right? So as long as whatever we're doing is fun, but it's safe. Dilution ratios are super important when it comes to making rollers for our children. And here's a kind of a rough idea for you. So you can definitely, I will share these slides and I will help you um, if you have any questions for this, you can ask a bit later. But basically, six months to two years, we essentially dilute four times the label recommendation. Two years to five years, we dilute three times. And five years to 10 years, we dilute two times the label recommendation. In general, if someone has a child who's been oiling for a while, like I have an almost 10-year-old, and she's been using essential oils like me for the past five years, I can get her to take a capsule even and I'm okay with her almost at the adult um, version of rollers, okay? So typically 12 to 14 years old, you can actually give your children the adult roller recipe version. If you are brand new to oils, we definitely want to start low and slow. And this is the first part that I'm going to go into with diffusing the same rule of thumb. So you start low and slow. What do we mean by that? You do two to four drops of essential oil, that's all, and one to two hours at a time. So it's, it's often helpful to actually turn that diffuser off, put it aside, wait a little bit, and then you can kind of come back. Um, so yeah, just very, very important. Sometimes they're quite strong for people. And then you can also do an aromadome or just sniff from the bottle. You are going to get the same benefits. So one drop of essential oil in the palm, rub together, cup over your nose like this, and just inhale. And I often do this if a child is feeling nauseous, if a child is feeling nervous. Those are kinds of the reasons when and why I would use it. And also if they've had a fall or they've had something and they are, it's almost anxiety for them then, or they had a, a bad fall and it's a shock, I will use certain oils like Vala to calm them down. 
Okay, we also use them topically, of course. And so you must refer to the dilution ratios. I will be sharing lots of recipes tonight. So that'll be exciting for you guys to use. And um, we apply the oils to your body. So you can use them neat on the body, but when doing that, it's quite helpful to use a roller fitment top. So Young Living sells these and they're called Aromaglide fitments. Then you can apply to the skin or you can use your hands to apply via massage, but you still want to dilute. Finally, we can use the oils internally as well. So this would be infused in beverages like thieves tea or in food. So peppermint brownies, lemon hummus or a ningxia drink. And of course we can make ningxia gummies. Okay, so some other oils and products for focus. This is a big one. This comes up a lot. And yes, talking about children that might suffer from ADD or ADHD for adults, uh, whatever, whatever it is that the child might have, you or, or an adult, by the way, this is really, really helpful for focusing. So kids are home from school and they're still amped up from getting to be with their friends all day and the overall excitement of being back in school to help to get their minds to calm down and focus on time with the family chores or homework can oftentimes be a challenge. So the right oil is essential. So for a clear mind and a calm heart, it's super important that those are key to focus and concentrate, right? So essential oils with earthy, grounding aromas like frankincense, or cedarwood are practically perfect to diffuse during any study session or demanding task that your young ones may face. If homework or chores, et cetera, after school prove to be very challenging, try essential oils that stimulate the nervous system, especially the part of the brain that is involved with the formation of new memories, as well as learning, um, so as well as learning and emotion. So peppermint and vetiver are excellent for enhancing alertness and concentration abilities. Also bright awakening citrus oils like lemon and orange. So these are all going to be fantastic to have in the diffuser when the kiddies come home from school. And by the way, we will touch on more of this um, for teachers and what you can do in the classroom. So I'll do, I'll do a workshop or a class on this next month. But anyhow, let's talk a little bit about vetiver. So vetiver has some benefits and features. It helps calm the mind so kiddos can focus on the tasks at hand. It's perfect for study for difficult tasks or just curling up with a book. Um, it is, sorry, it, uh, yeah, when, sometimes when you guys are joining, the you're, you're not mute automatically. I don't know, the setting was not 100% tonight so sorry about that okay so it's perfect for study difficult tasks or curling up with a book like I said it creates a relaxing atmosphere minimizing distractions maybe I need some of that I'm getting distracted and um, the aroma is very grounding calming and stabilizing now here's a very important tip it's an incredibly thick essential oil so it can be slow to flow from the bottle and the best trick and advice I have there is just put it on your body or in your body somewhere where you can warm that essential oil. Of course, being a, a woman, often we just pop it in the middle of our bra. We leave it there and it will just help to warm the oil. You definitely do not, though, want to put it into a microwave or any anything that is creating external heat. So our body temperature is perfectly fine, by the way. And then it will help to just get that um, oil to to become more liquefied, so to speak. Same thing with rose essential oil, by the way, it does create almost a gel like substance. So it just needs a little bit of body warmth. Frankincense. So the benefits and features, it really helps to slow you down or your child to deepen and lengthen our breaths. It really is brilliant for grounding. It creates a space in our body and our mind to focus. It assists in reducing worry and anxiety, allowing rest and flow it contains sesquiterpenes. Oh gosh, these words, but that's actually within the essential oil, which deliver oxygen to the cells, including damaged brain cells, because our essential oils, for those of you who don't know, can actually cross the blood brain barriers. That's what makes them so incredible and work even better than average drugs and medication, because it cannot, regular drugs and medicine cannot cross the blood brain barrier. 
Cedar wood, the benefits and features, it's great for calming and focusing the mind, helpful for moments of high energy and trouble settling down. It creates a warm and comforting environment to foster positive emotions and calm. It helps purify the mind, body, and spirit of unpleasant emotions. Orange, the benefits and features, it's really excellent for helping wake up with its bright and refreshing scent when diffused and aroma domed. It blends beautifully with Joy Essential Oil for a mood booster. It's a fantastic oil for awakening the mind and promoting positivity for studying, reading, chores, or any other task. Lemon, similar wonderful features and benefits to orange because it is a citrus oil. So all the citrus oils are going to be similar in that they are uplifting and give us energy. So it's known to dispel confusion and counteract mental fatigue, which can occur when overloaded with studying. So it has limonene, which increases nor epinephrine, which boosts energy. There's also piperine in it, which improves cognitive function and memory. That's just naturally occurring, by the way. We don't put these things in there. Then peppermint enhances focus, alertness, and clarity. It awakens the mind, it improves memory, and it helps focus. It's excellent when diffused with lemon in the morning routines before leaving for school. And it's super yummy when a couple drops are added to brownies or at tea time, you can pop it into onto your tea bag. All right, Vela now has, I just wanted to show you, I'm actually not gonna read through all the things that are inside of each one of these essential oils. I will share the slides, but this is kind of showing you what's actually in each one of these essential oils. So all three of these are blends and all three of them are so fantastic for big emotions. So I am gonna talk how about how we use them. And um, you might notice that this is actually my little girl in these pictures. <laughs> so this is her holding the Valor bottle and she's about to actually open that and then go off to school. We had her in a cape to show that she feels like a superhero. So Valor has a sweet aroma that inspires feelings of being deeply rooted, safe, comfortable and confident in your own shoes. It's powerfully synergistic blend with a transformative aroma and key contributor to Young Living's raindrop technique. That is the one that helps us to release very, very stuck emotions. So there is a massage that you do, a very, very, very specific massage that's called a raindrop technique to release trauma and deep set emotions. So you can understand that Vela being in that technique just tells you how brilliant it is to help to calm the body and the nervous system down. So whether it's diffused, aroma domed, or rolled directly on, it absolutely rocks. It's bravery in a bottle, and we also call it the chiropractic in a bottle. If you have a child who tells you they have growing pains, or if my daughter actually did tonight. So I've gone ahead and used that. Valor is the same frequency as your bones in your body. That's why they communicate so well, and it helps. Also great for TMJ when you know their, their jaw gets tight. So we just put it on the outside of the jaw. And sometimes I've even had adults tell me that they, their jaw is clicking or it's just not set right or from clenching that's sore the next morning. So a bit of valor on the outside, it's really helpful and very relieving. Scoliosis, valor. Okay, kid power. I love this essential oil. It smells like an orange popsicle, like a creamsicle. It is just delicious. So the benefits and features with this one, it's the sweetest and super empowering aroma for kiddos or adults. I'm so glad we put that it's also for adults because it really is one of my perfume signature scents. I love it. It smells like a cream soda. So it enhances feelings of positivity and confidence. It supports overall emotional balance and well-being. And it's the best way to think of it is you almost say not now worry doubt or fear. I've got my cape on today. So it's safe for kiddos turn up and it's already pre-diluted. So then we have peace and calming, very different kind of smelling. It's more citrusy with very grounding notes as well. So that this can also support ch children during an especially overactive day. It creates a peaceful environment and feelings of comfort. You can diffuse it on its own during your unwind bath and bed routine. And it combines beautifully with Citrus Fresh before school activities or sports practices. Then I wanted to share two of my favorite roller recipes. So we make rollers because this is like a pocket pharmacy. You can keep it ready to go and it will really help you save your essential oils. Okay. So the focus roller, 
I love this as well, by the way, I call this like my getting things done. And you'll also notice what's very interesting is a lot of the time the focus oils are the same as the oils that help us with sleep. Why? Because the intention of these essential oils is to actually quiet the mind. It's almost like it, it puts a funnel in the brain that's overthinking with all these thoughts, way too many thoughts. And these essential oils kind of go in there like the funnel and say, okay, one at a time, slow down, slow down, slow down. Same concept as like, okay, when you're struggling to sleep, count the sheep, do something that's slow and repetitive. When you are focused and you can relax, you actually can get much more in, you can absorb more information, but also you will sleep deeper as well. That's why the same oils we find for sleep recipes are found for focus recipes. Okay, so this roller would be in a 10 ml roller bottle, 10 drops of cedarwood, 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of vetiver. You'd fill it with your carrier oil of choice. I personally love V6. And to use it, you'd roll behind the neck and ears on the shoulders and on the big toe. Super interesting, right? But it really, really works well to put it under the big toe. Then we have the Be Brave Roller. I really love this one also for kids if they're doing anything that's new, but it's also just very, very calming. So this one is five drops of Valor, four drops of frankincense, four drops of lavender, four drops of cedarwood, and then a carrier oil of your choice. You would roll it down their spine, inner wrists, and also on big toes. Okay, now let's talk about oils and products for staying healthy. So germ busters and immunity boosters, it's absolutely inevitable that your kids are gonna bring home germs from school. So keeping the whole family healthy can be a challenge. Keeping hands clean and supporting the immune system are two ways to combat what kids bring home. So the right oil again is essential. Keeping the thieves waterless hand purifier in mine is attached to my purse always, but I do give each of my kids one for their backpack for school. Um, and you, of course, you can leave it in the car as well for as soon as they come out of school to clean and purify their hands. Also, you can keep it at home in the bathrooms, which is also easy for kids to use. It's very safe and it helps keep their hands clean. It also doesn't dry your hands out. So it's not at all like your typical alcohol hand sanitizer. It actually smells amazing and it's very it still keeps the moisture in your hands, which is really nice. So another thing to do is add a drop of Thieves essential oil, which is also considered, it's a vitality oil in other markets. Remember that vitality just means it's a labeling thing. And so anything that comes in a vitality oil is absolutely safe to ingest. So all you need to know is if you look it up, does this essential oil have a vitality version of it? then the one that you have is exactly the same stuff inside. So lemon vitality and lemon essential oil with young living are exactly the same. And then we can vouch for the fact that they are safe for internal use. So adding that to a morning smoothie or a cup of tea for kids or in their oatmeal, oatmeal sorry, it really helps support their immune system. The benefits of taking a daily wellness supplement for the immune systems are infinite. And that my friends are the Ningxia red sachets. They are so delicious. My daughter actually tried some of mine with soda water today and she loves it. So that's also a nice idea that you can do after school as well as a refresher. And we often put that in the freezer. So it's a popsicle for them. They can just like cut the top off and they have it as is frozen as a, a nice delicious popsicle. So Thieves, it shows what's in it. And again, the benefits, it helps overall wellness with antioxidant properties. It supports a healthy immune system and it is so cleansing to the digestive system. Thieves tea is the best. It's honey in a mug, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending on how sweet you want it. One drop of thieves and two drops of lemon essential oil. Now, if your little one is under one years old, you can switch and not use honey and just use maple syrup or agave. And if you are giving it to a child or a soup. If, if they're under one, I would say do a quarter of it into their bottle or whatever it is that you want to give and then do three quarters of water so that it's really diluted. If it's a child, we say like half of that. So I'd pour half out and add more water and a little bit more honey for a child and you can drink their other half as is. 
So the hand purifier, it smells amazing. Like I said, it's got, you'll smell that peppermint the most, I feel. But of course it has thieves in it and it is super convenient. It's very effective at killing 99.99% of germs. And it also moisturizes without that sticky, stinky residue that most sanitizers have. Then our Ningxia, which I touched on, it is the most delicious berry drink. And it supports the whole body health and wellness with a delicious superfruit and essential oil combo. Provides energy naturally without caffeine. So that's for you guys as adults. For the kids, it's just so great for them to have, especially if they do after school activities. That with a snack is just awesome. It improves sleep patterns. It increases sleep time as well. And it reduces daily stress to improve mental well-being. So it is a wolfberry puree. It's got blueberry juice concentrate, plum juice concentrate, cherry juice concentrate, aronia juice concentrate, pomegranate juice concentrate. And then of course we have essential oils like orange, yuzu, lemon, tangerine, and that's all that's in it, um, which is super yummy. It also uses stevia to sweeten it a little bit. And I've often got asked if it's safe for diabetics. It is. You just look at the grams of sugar in there and Put that into what you are allowed in a day. Okay, so first aid 101. These are the things that I definitely make and have ready. And yeah, they're just such great recipes to just pre-prepare, have it. You can see the picture below is actually my little first aid kit. I have that. And these are all the things that I have in it all the time. But I also make a miniature version and I send with each child to school and I let them keep it there. So we're going to cover last prevention, boo-boo spray, the lavender lip balm and why that's so great, the tummy tamer roller, the owie roller and a temperature rising roller, as well as the wellness roller. So sprays, last prevention, this has really helped us. It really, really has. Um, so this one has 10 drops of lavender. By the way, these are going to be a 50 ml spray bottle. And you can get this from the bottle lady, from Westpac, from Bond Pack. It depends where you live. But there's a lot of places that supply these glass bottles. I know we even have Mumbos and they often have these as well. So 50 mils. And you will also need witch hazel. Almost always when we make a spray, we need witch hazel because oil and water don't mix. So the witch hazel acts as an astringent. So you'll want 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of tea tree, five drops of rosemary, a teaspoon of alcohol-free witch hazel, preferably unscented as well. And then you fill it with water, shake it, and you spray it on their hair and backpack. And you can see in this picture as well, again, this was my daughter actually, and I've braided her hair. That's also really important. Lice prefer loose hair and they actually love clean hair. So a lot of the time we think, oh, lice is dirty and it's gross. It, it, it it feels gross and dirty, but actually they cling a lot better to clean hair. So when it's in a tight braid, it's hard for them. And also when hair is greasy, it's actually also harder for them to kind of clutch on. Anyway, this spray doesn't make hair greasy. It's just brilliant at preventing lice coming at all. They don't like the smell of tea tree at all or lavender or rosemary. So Boo Boo Get Better Spray. This one I also love to have and use. I actually also just used this on my daughter because she just scraped herself while walking to the beach and it was like a slippery, there were slippery stairs going down. So it was actually coming up. She tripped and it's, it gave her a big scrape. So this is the best spray to heal. It's seven drops of frankincense, seven drops of lavender and seven drops of tea tree with a tablespoon of carrier oil fill it with water and shake before use for spray and you can spray it on owies. Now I do want to mention, I also often love adding helichrysum in there, but you'll see helichrysum is in our roller because I find that it just stays on more and absorbs. The boo-boo spray is fantastic for if it's really an open wound and bleeding, it will clean it. So this is acting like a Savlon or a Dettol and the boo-boo roller is going to be better for actually healing it and getting it to close for, you know, a, a, something that's not openly and actively bleeding. So rollers, we have a tummy tamer one, which everyone needs this one. I, I, I guarantee at some point your child's going to have a bloated tummy, a sore tummy, a diarrhea tummy, a constipated tummy, 
this is your go-to for all of those. So it's 12 drops of diegize, four drops of peppermint, and these of course are in 10 mil rollers. You're gonna fill it with carrier oil and you roll on the tummy where it hurts. I was actually asked today about um, heartburn for or indigestion for a little one. And my answer is this roller, you can just roll it up by the chest and by the throat area, it really helps as well to just kind of calm or soothe any indigestion or heartburn. Okay, here's the Owie Roller I spoke about. It would have 10 drops of helichrysum, eight drops of frankincense, and you can roll it on a bruise, a healing cut or scrape. I am obsessed with helichrysum for little ones. We don't get Owie essential oil, which is actually the version that's pre-diluted for kids, but honestly invest in that helichrysum we all use it in my house for so many things. I've used it for me, for, I can't even tell you, my husband cut his finger two nights ago really badly and helichrysum closed up that open cut within two hours. It stopped bleeding, well, it stopped bleeding before that, but within two hours it had actually closed. So it's just so, so fast to work. It's great for bruises anything that's like kind of sore or achy helichrysum is just so great for and then of course there's eight drops of frankincense in there so you would roll it on a bruise a healing cut or a scrape temperature rising this is for fevers or temperatures all you need in this one you guys is one drop of peppermint and one drop of frankincense <coughs> excuse me so you'd fill it with the carrier oil you roll it around the belly button down the spine and under feet. Now, if you didn't have the roller and your child came home with a temperature, you can always go grab your peppermint in your frank, put a drop in your palm of your hand, get some carrier oil, about at least a tablespoon of it, and rub all of that together and give them a nice massage, but focus on their spine mostly and under their feet. And then you can just roll it on the belly. If you have a super, super, super little one, so they're under one, I want you to focus on keeping it away from where hands can touch because we don't want them touching peppermint, which is a hot oil and touching their face. So for little, little ones, you always wanna think of using oils like from under the belly button down, preferably just under feet, okay? So then of course we have the wellness roller. This is one of my all time favorites. I mean, all of these are my favorites, but this I have seen it work in action where other kids have gotten sick. Classrooms have been shut down because there's so much sickness. And I'm not just talking about COVID stuff. I'm talking about norovirus where all the kids were vomiting. My children like skipped over these. And I'm telling you, it's because we use this wellness roller and we are religious about it. We put it on in the morning and we send them off to school. So it's got 15 drops of thieves, eight drops of purification, eight drops of frankincense, five drops of lemon, five drops of oregano. And I will say that if they are between two and five, I would switch to just doing one to two drops of oregano. It's quite strong, but otherwise this is a, a great recipe to just have in the house. Then you fill it with carrier oil and you would roll it under their feet and you can do on their spine. Now, if they are sick and they come home and they're not well, you can use this roller every one to two hours if needed. Okay. I tell people like four times a day is pretty good, but if they are really not well, you can increase how often you are just rolling that. So oils and products for sleepy time. You say sleepy time is sublime. So a good night, a good night's rest is so important for staying healthy, for easier mornings and for keeping a school year routine. Oils definitely play a big part in that. So when diffused, oils actually interact with the limbic system, which affects our emotions and helps to calm our minds. Rubbing oils onto the bottom of kids' feet can be comforting and help them benefit from the oils and bedtime routine with you. So the right oil, again, is essential. For kids, diffuse Dream Ease and rub lavender essential oil on the bottom of their feet. I'll just quickly touch on the idea of belly buttoning. You can Google it. It's brilliant. You can also look it up in our Hello Essentials um, Facebook group, but we have so many nerves in our belly button. And actually, my nine-year-old said to me tonight, because tomorrow is their first day of school, she said, mom, please put a drop of lavender in my belly. I really want to just feel calm and have a very good night's sleep. So she knows how effective it is. And I personally love to do that if I'm having one of those nights where I'm kind of tossing and turning, or if I wake up and it's 2 a.m. and I feel wide awake and I'm sitting there like, oh, I don't want to look at my phone because I know that that's a very bad idea. 
that is when I'll put one drop of lavender in my belly. And usually I don't recall what happens after that. I just know that I pass right back out. So the other nice thing is you can make a lavender linen spray, which you can use for sheets and pillows for a calming effect for getting into bed. It's really helpful and so easy to do. So all you do for that one is a 50 ml spray bottle. You'd put 10 drops of lavender essential oil, a teaspoon of alcohol-free witch hazel, and then you can top it off with water. You shake it and you use it before yeah so you just spray it before they'd come into the room i also find this i call this the go away monster spray and you can put a little picture of whatever like a monster with a line crossed out and this is a great one for little ones to actually spray in their room if they are fearful of the dark or monsters and it's a nice one for them to think that it helps to get rid of those monsters so lavender is so good for balancing the mind and the body for ultimate calming it helps reduce nervous tensions from the day it's a perfect oil to begin with for the family we call it our swiss army knife of essential oils because we use it for everything okay like bee stings itchy bites all the things we first go with lavender it's always 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 our first line of defense with things and then we go on to more specifics depending on what it is but we always start with lavender and then we have kids sense dreamies which is just a beautiful combo. It does have geranium in there. It has Roman chamomile and a bunch of other things that are so great for sleep, even valerian root. So it's, it's very beneficial for helping your child settle in and sleep for the night. Good for unwinding, calming. It encourages lengthy, peaceful sleep, which is, of course, as we know, essential for growing bodies and brains. So I kind of spoke a little bit about telling you that we'll do a class for teachers and essential oils, which is also really helpful. So I will discuss, I'll share with you guys what date exactly that will be. But for all of you teachers or stay-at-home moms that are homeschooling or um, anyone that is spending time teaching children life lessons or less class lessons this one is for you so you will learn how essential oils can help support you as a teacher and your students in the school setting where you really do both spend the majority of your time each week so we'll help you find the right oils for your situation as a teacher and educate you along the way so it will be a fun teacher themed giveaway as well at the end of the class so you feel free you can email me privately in the chat if you want an invite to that class but i will of course share it in the monthly newsletter that i do every month that'll go out in the beginning of February. A quick touch on January and what things are in our promos. So these are for essential rewards, which is our loyalty program. So if you purchase 100 PV, which is product value, you'll get 20 points to use to spend later on. At 150 PV, there's White Angelica. At 200 PV, Magnify Your Purpose. And at 300, Present Time. They're all emotional oils with a big focus on vision boards and starting your new year right, in, you know, with the right foot forward. It's, uh, sorry, quick orders. And remember that we are having a huge sale starting on the 19th. And um, yeah, we, we moved that date from the 17th, which is today to the 19th, just because we've changed a few things, added some product and just wanted to make sure that the virtual office, which is where you go to purchase these things, all the codes were working right. We don't want to have any issues. So we've given our IT team a couple more days just to make sure it's absolutely right while they're testing the codes and making sure it's all good. So it's worth the wait. Check it out on the 19th. And a quick reminder that the 20th and 21st if you have essential rewards dates, you need to change them because they are doing website maintenance during those days. It's global, so it's happening worldwide on Young Living. So you don't want to be placing orders on those dates. The whole website will be down, okay? Anyway, on quick orders this month, when you go and you go wild on the sale, you will also get a free release essential oil if you spend 150 PV. You'll get humility and release if you spend 250 PV. 350 PV gets you release, humility, and abundance on a quick order. Um, remember that all of these are cumulative. So you get that plus that plus that, you know, as you go up in PV. There's a bit more, um, there's more bundles and things as well that we have this month. I spoke about Ningxia Red, so definitely make sure to check out this bundle for this month. You get 30 sachets of Ningxia Red with lemon and a grapefruit. And both of those are the 15 mil size is actually what it's coming with. I'm not gonna go through all of these details, but I will share 
the slides again because I am trying to keep our classes to 30 minutes. So that really brings us to the end of this one. And I just want to give you guys an opportunity to ask any questions if you have. Um, so please let me know. Feel free to unmute yourselves. I'm going to stop sharing now and let you guys ask any questions. Anyone? Feel free to write in the chat. Feel free to unmute yourself. Nothing for now. No problem. Okay. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I really, really hope that you learned something and that you can make some things. And honestly, you saw not all of the recipes are for kids. So please take advantage too if you are an adult that is struggling with focus. I know I struggle sometimes. So um, that's, they are really, really helpful to have your diffuser by you for those purposes. I love Veta there. And I wanted to share, I also sometimes oh. want to sleep or for focus like on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Have a beautiful evening then. Thanks, Jade. Thank you, else. You have a question, Renette. Please ask. It was so good. Oh, thank Please. you. Oh, no, Clarice is next to me. She's the one with the babies. I'm past that stage, but I'm definitely sharing it on my groups as well. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Thank you, Else. I know you're also a teacher, Else. Um, yes, and I you am. were a teacher as well, but yeah, you're a life teacher. You'll never stop teaching, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for next month as well, and hopefully you still were able to, to gather like a lot of info for, for things that you can use, even for now. Oh, Thank and you. I'm like yeah. children used to say. Say that again. Grandchildren. It's awesome. Exactly. And then there's grandchildren. So there's that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Jo. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Bye-bye, bye, guys. Ask Jenny. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Feel free to uh, jump out if you need to. <laughs> Sorry, I Jade. How are you? Good in you. Very well, thank you. I just want to know, um, are these rollers, all, all of them safe um, for using by autistic um, learners? Definitely. Or, uh, autism. Absolutely. And so, so helpful as well. And I will say, sometimes with children that also have any sensory issues, where they actually mm -hmm. don't want oils on their body, <clears throat> I will say that having a piece of jewelry, a diffuser jewelry is so helpful as well. You can get, gosh, I usually wear my lava bead necklace that I think so many of you have seen, but you can get the lava beads for kids. And oftentimes they really like to be a part of that decision. And also the ones where they have the little felt pads. So mm -hmm. I've absolutely helped parents who have children that are on the spectrum what, however they fall on the spectrum, whether it is autism, whether it's ADD, whether whatever the the concern is, these oils mm. are fantastic. And I think my favorite one for autism is definitely going to be vetiver and frankincense. Cedarwood's mm. also great, but I think vetiver is just brilliant. Like vetiver and orange or vetiver and valor, I would definitely start there. And only if that child is saying, oh, I really like just do not like the smell or they're not used to it or it's bothering them. If that is the case, then try, try and roll it under their feet or just mm. diffuse. But otherwise, if it can be on a bracelet or something, it's so helpful. I know and my daughter loves smells. But it can mm. also work the other way. And so if it's a smell that she doesn't like, it will bother her nonstop. But otherwise, she is like obsessed. So for her to have something that she picks up and just sniffs is like her element. So sometimes it's nice to have a little accompanying toy that will hold that smell on it or mm. the jewelry. But yes, brilliant for autistic kids. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And thank you pleasure. for an excellent and in very informative session. Oh, pleasure. I'm so glad you liked it. And sometimes the question comes up of my child is on medication and we all, there's no judgment for that or with that. I've never seen or found that there's any like side effect or counteracting 
anything to taking medication and using essential oils. I feel that there is a time and place for both. And I have also seen and watched stories where parents were able to slowly wean their child off medication and use just the essential oils. And then I've also seen where they have still needed to use the medication, but the oils were so helpful and complementary. So they don't, typically there's no, it doesn't fight each other. Um, our body is very good at using what it needs from essential oils because it's just plants. So the way I see it is it's almost like you can't eat too much salad, you know, mm. and, and if you did and your body tells you and you, you naturally move away from it. So no. yeah. yeah, that's kind of my, my feeling on that. Well, that's so good. anyway, I hope that that's, yeah, that that's helpful. Thank um, you very, very much. Of course, absolutely. Any other questions, you guys? Okay, I think you're good. So that's fine. Then we can end off here. Thank you so much for joining. Please watch out for February's classes, which of course we're going to focus on our love oils and all the rest of it. Um,